This is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City, and this is the fourth in the series on investors buying existing property. Uh, let's talk a little bit about red flags. So again, existing property can be all ages, okay? And you know, a lot of times we look at a property and we say, well, that looks pretty good. But it demands a little bit more investigation than that. So, you know, red flags to me are, okay, if I see a property that somehow we missed or you missed or we just started on this search and it's 120 days old without a price reduction, then I know there's a red flag. And one of the things that I normally do is I go in and in one program that I have, I can pretty well generally see what kind of mortgage amount is there. So if it's a $200,000 price and $180,000 mortgage. Uh, okay, I get it. There's expenses involved. They're not going to lower their price at all. And by the way, it's not worth $200,000. They overbought it. So we're going to evaluate what they owe. We're going to see if there's any room to move on that property for you. So that's one red flag. The second thing, red flag should be fairly obvious. We come up to the home. There's dead plants, dead perennials. The grass is not mowed properly. Uh, we go inside the house, it's messy. It automatically means to me that somebody is really not taking care of things. There's dishes in the sink. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to tell you that these people are bad people, that's not it. But what I'm saying is this really raises a red flag to me and I've got to go, okay, what's the issue here? Um, you know, if it's a situation, I go to the central heat and air system and I don't see a blue filter there. I see a brown filter. Uh, that's a red flag for me. You know, it seems kind of minor, but it basically means constant maintenance or regular maintenance. It should be done every six months on a central heat and air system, which can actually lower the lifespan of the central heat and air system is really not a good idea. Or if I see a house that's 30 years old, and it has the original central heat and air system, I know that those days are numbered. Things don't last that long. And if it does, it's not going to be a long time and all of a sudden you have a $5,000 expense. Same way with a rusted hot water tank. All of those things are something that we really pull in uh, on the house or you know, even the landscaping. You know, if the back of the yard slopes 40 degrees towards the home, we're going, I'm sorry, this isn't gonna work for us water flows downhill, there could be foundation problems. We're going to be looking at all those details. You know, I, I can tell you when it really comes down to it, and please understand this, new construction is a whole lot easier. If the ground is flat, everything is new with warranties, it's pretty hard to find a red flag there, isn't it? There still could be some, and we do look for some, but existing property, there's a lot more work that we have to do for you, that we're willing to do for you in order to find the right property. But those are the things that we look for. Now, that's not all the red flags because I could go on for hours with red flags, but I just want you to give you an overview of how diligent we're going to be in trying to determine. We can't guarantee perfection. We can't guarantee everything is right. But boy, I'll tell you what, we can eliminate a lot of properties on what we see and the detail that we put in, in terms of evaluating it. So one more video in this existing series, repairs, inspections, improvements.